Hey friends, happy new year. Hope you guys are good. It's been a while since we've sat down and spoken about something. And I know you guys have been requesting this video for the longest time. But I'm not gonna sit here for two hours and talk about excuses. We're gonna get straight into this. I just wanna make a disclaimer and say not everything that I do would work for you. If you're gonna go on any diet, especially if you've got health problems, it's best for you to go and speak to your doctor before making any changes in your diet, any changes in your lifestyle. I don't want any of you guys getting sick. I want you guys to be healthy. I want you guys to feel good. We are not going to do things to harm ourselves, okay? I'm having a really bad hijab day today, so please ignore the situation that is happening. Like, I've changed it 20 million times and it just, it just won't work and I just, I'm fed up. But I'm filming this video, I don't care how I look, I need to get this video out for you guys because it's just been too long. Alright, so we're gonna start from the beginning. I've always been up and down with my weight, I would say, since I was like 13 years old. I was quite obese when I was a kid. And then I kind of lost weight and then I gained weight. Beginning of 2018 was just gaining and gaining weight. Like I would rarely eat at home and always order takeaways to the studio because I was working so hard for the first half of the year I was doing a lot of studio work because of that I gained a lot of weight and I reached like my heaviest weight which was 79 kilos around April time I thought to myself do you know what I can't actually do this I don't enjoy seeing myself like this I don't feel comfortable I just don't feel happy I thought to myself do you know what I'm gonna make a change and since then I have lost fully that is not coming back about seven kilos i do want to lose a little bit more which i'm going to do this year but i also want to gain a lot of muscle so i'm kind of in the middle of things but anyway we'll talk about my fitness goals later on we're gonna to stick to the weight loss i've lost pretty much like nine kilo and then i do gain one and a half every now and then when it's my period or if i've eaten a little bit too much or whatever 70 is literally my most stable weight at the moment because i lost that within i would say like four to five months which i think is quite healthy if you are looking to lose weight for whatever reason make sure you're looking to lose healthy weight you have to think of it as a journey it's not going to happen overnight unless your weight loss goal is realistic then it's different you need to give yourself time and you need to give yourself a chance and don't give up when it gets tough the first thing obviously i had to look at my lifestyle and I had to pick at the things that I thought were unhealthy and that were making me gain weight and making me feel really sluggish. Like my whole body just felt so out of shape. It felt, I just haven't, hadn't been to the gym in like a year before this by the way. And I used to go to the gym quite a lot in early 2017 in January till early 2018, I was not going to the gym at all. Like I was literally lazy as hell and my body just felt like completely like all i wanted to do is sleep i just couldn't be bothered to do anything i didn't have the energy i didn't have the motivation and so i wanted to fix that as well because i remembered how much energy i had when i used to go to the gym um the year before and i always woke up early in the morning and i had so much energy i had so much life in me and i wanted to feel that again and i think that drove me even more so i started to make some lifestyle changes i went back to the gym first of, first of all um and i think for me personally being active and going to the gym obviously everybody's different but for me being active and going to the gym makes like a humongous difference for me because it's not just like a physical difference but it's a mental difference because I feel like I'm working out and that feeling of working out and like that feeling after you a workout is just indescribable it feels incredible and it makes you feel like you're working towards something and you're doing something and it makes you see results faster now I would recommend if you want to lose weight especially if you want to lose quite a lot of weight I would recommend going to the gym as well as dieting because it helps to tighten everything as well as lose even more definitely would say that what you eat is what makes your weight what it is I think food is like the main thing your food intake is what controls your weight at the end of the day the amount of calories you consume per day is what controls your weight so honestly it's a lot to do with your eating but also going to the gym makes a huge difference as well and I think it goes hand in hand so I just started to become a lot more active I did a lot of cardio I'm not a gym know-it-all by the way like I literally take bits from everyone that I see on social media so I used to push myself to go to the gym and honestly I remember the first day I went to the gym um, in 2018 and I was literally in the toilet for like 40 minutes trying to pull myself together and get out there because I know it's really weird because at the gym now I know at the gym everybody's just looking at themselves nobody's trying to look at anyone else everybody's trying to focus on their own health goals and 
their workouts but at the time I felt like everyone's gonna look at me and because I just felt like I didn't know what I was doing anymore I completely forgot about everything to do at the gym and um, I just just felt like I was lost and I, I felt a bit insecure about that. Like I was so overwhelmed and I was in the bathroom trying to pull myself together. I was just like, come on, you can do this. You can get back to it. You could do this. And after that day, it just became easier and easier every other day. And I created a little like routine for myself. I was doing a lot of cardio. I was doing a lot of weight training. Um, and I think cardio and weight training go hand in hand if you want a really good physique. Now, let me not sugarcoat anything. Gym is not easy. Honestly, it's not easy. And I'm one of those people, I, my, to, my pain tolerance is not that high. So I sometimes give up so easily and it frustrates me. But I try to push myself because I know what I want my end goal to be. I know that I have a lot of work that I still need to do on my body. And if you don't push yourself, nobody else is. So I always try to push myself, even though it doesn't always work. There's days where I go to the gym for like 20 minutes and I'm like, do you know what, I can't do this anymore, I need to go home. There's days where I bang out a full workout and I go hard and I'm aching for like the rest of the week. It's all part of the process and it's all worth it. Don't give up on yourself so easily. I think that's one of the hardest things to do, um, not giving up on yourself when you feel like nothing is working. But that's that, that moment where you feel like nothing is working is the moment where it's about to work but sometimes we just give up in the wrong time so that's about my fitness um i don't really have a specific routine even right now i don't really have a specific routine but it just depends on how i'm feeling and what i want to work out work on during that time the gym and working out and being active in general took up like 15 percent or 20 percent of how i lost my weight but i would say the 80 percent was definitely how i ate basically to begin with i actually started all this weight loss during ramadan which is quite convenient because obviously you only eat like two meals per day um but i was actually only eating iftar and then for sahur i'd just have like a bit of water maybe a date or watermelon i was reducing the amount of food i t i eat if you're having one meal a day you're basically having less than your typical calorie intake and i think in that month I probably lost like three to four kilos at the same time by the way guys I didn't like dress myself in any way like if I didn't feel like going to the gym I didn't go I think if I was a lot more religious with my ha my eating habits and my working out I would probably have lost a lot more weight and probably would have reached my goals a lot faster but I don't want to kill myself <laughs> I want to enjoy life as well I want to enjoy food and I don't want to just live in the gym so I don't mind having to prolong my my journey because i'm still enjoying every part of it junk food and stuff every now and then not all the time so after ramadan obviously my stomach had shrunk my food intake was smaller it did grow a little bit because i was having more meals in a day but it was a little bit smaller after ramadan is when i started to actually go to the gym by the way i didn't go to the gym in ramadan so in ramadan it was just my eating um after ramadan is when i started going to the gym and um, incorporated with my smaller um portions of food that kind of boosted my weight loss as well after that i was kind of stuck on like 74 kilos and that's down from 79 so that's like how many kilos five five kilos down so i was like stuck on 74 kilos and i wasn't losing any weight and i was just like what should i do like i'm still going to the gym and everything and i think also another thing that i need to be aware of and you guys need to be aware of as well if you're doing weight training you're gonna gain muscle mass so you're gaining weight in a way because your muscles are getting heavier and bigger so i believe that even though i lost however much that i lost i think i lost even more but because i'm gaining muscle mass muscle weight i don't know if i'm saying the right te terminology by the way i'm literally making all this up but because i've gained muscle weight i think um i'm kind of more than i would if i didn't if that makes any sense but anyway i was doing a lot of weight training so i felt like i was stuck on 74 kilos and then I, try, I started doing something which was kind of similar what, with what was happening in Ramadan, to be honest with you. I wouldn't recommend anybody doing this unless they speak to their doctor and make sure they don't have any problems uh, with this because I don't want people fainting and having health problems because of what I'm telling you to do. I'm not telling you to do this, it's just what I did. Literally, I'm not telling anyone to do this. 
this is just what I did and it worked for me. I started doing intermittent fasting. Now the intermittent fasting I was doing was a little bit different. So I would not eat for the whole day and then I would have like one big meal. Sometimes it wouldn't just be one big meal. It would be a few small meals in like a window of like three hours. This really, really helped with my weight loss. Like honestly, it made a huge difference. To be completely honest with you, my meals were huge but I was eating a lot of like healthier stuff I was trying to incorporate a lot of healthier stuff so I'd have a lot of fish I'd have a lot of salads I'd have but salads with rice I'd still have my rice I love my rice can't live without rice but I was having like rice salads and like my protein like chicken or or fish I would do this like a few times in a week I did not do this for a long period of time by the way I just want to put this out there um, and then during the rest of the day I would drink loads of water if I wanted a nibble I'd still have like a bit of fruit or something like I wouldn't completely cut myself off this type of intimate fasting really really helped me and my weight loss and it literally pushed the rest of the weight down I need to get back to doing it because lately I've been a shambles by the way last month has been hilarious when it comes to my fitness and health because I've literally been to the gym like three times and I've been eating everything but that's probably why I'm like going up to 71 now <clears throat> but honestly I was just feeling great I felt amazing I felt energetic and I tried not to do this longer than like three days in a row two three days in a week where I'd intermittent fast and then the rest of the days I'll just eat normally like normal meals the reason why I think intermittent fasting really helped me is because because I was eating a full plate even though it was a full big plate but it was mainly like healthier foods I think my calorie intake was much smaller than usual which obviously if you eat less calories you could lose weight that's the basic technique of losing weight you're eating less calories make sure you have balance in everything don't starve yourself don't stop yourself from eating the things that you like and that's the one thing i've tried to always do like keep eating stuff that i did like even though in november i did a no sugar november which didn't go so well to be honest with you and that kind of taught me that i could never like just stop myself from eating the things that i like because otherwise i'll just end up binging and it's okay to binge every now and then honestly don't feel bad if you do but it's not the best thing as well for your skin and for your health so i didn't want to end up binging so i just decided that you know what i'm gonna eat the things i like when i want to eat them i'll just eat them in smaller portions and obviously not every day and it works for me and it kind of it helps with my craving it helps with my cravings and it works so yeah if you are planning to go on a weight loss journey my advice would be don't be hard on yourself don't constrict yourself too much you will want to have that chocolate you've been denying yourself for 10 days okay i didn't really do any diets diets make me feel like restricted and i don't like to feel restricted so i would just eat things that i enjoyed to eat so i ate a lot more fish I try to eat a lot more fish. I love salmon, so I would eat a lot of salmon with salads and rice. Sometimes I would have just salmon with like a really nice big salad with loads of different things in it. That's the kind of salads I like with like sweet potatoes, olives, feta cheese, and like loads of cucumbers and tomatoes and lettuce. So good. I love food. So I would make sure that I would enjoy every meal and I would make sure that every meal I eat is filling for me. Um, and also healthier than typical meals. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a more in-depth food that I eat type of video. I do still have a long way to go with my fitness journey and it's not just losing weight. Losing weight is not really my main focus. I really want to just tone and just build more muscle in certain areas and just be healthier, not just physically but also my mind and my lifestyle um but yeah guys i think that's it with this video um i will catch you guys later make sure you let me know in the comments any other videos you'd like to see from me or if there's any other things you'd like me to talk about in this topic i love you guys so much thank you for watching see you guys later bye